Giving learners course access. There are a number of ways in which your learners can access your course. For example, your administrator might enrol them for you, or they might be automatically enrolled from outside, or they might be able to create their own accounts on the Moodle site and then enrol themselves into your course. Enrollment means how students get into your course, whereas authentication means how they get onto a Moodle site, which we don't explore here. In this video, we look at how you, the teacher, can manually add students to your course and how you can find out the other ways in which they can access your course. If we click Participants from Course Navigation, we see any participants already enrolled in the course. And if there are a lot, we can search and filter with several options. If allowed, teachers can click the Enroll Users button to manually add a student. Note that as a course teacher, you can't add other editing teachers unless allowed by admin. From the drop down, by selecting Enrollment Methods, we can see the different ways that they're able to access or be enrolled into a course. The first one we see is manual enrollment. This means that students can be enrolled into the course by the teacher. Guest access here has its eye closed, so that means that currently no guests can look at this course, but the teacher can enable it by clicking the icon. Self enrolment means that users can enroll themselves by clicking a button if we enable this by opening the eye. If the admin has allowed other enrollment methods, you can access them from the drop down. Let's explore the options for self enrollment by clicking the icon. Here, you can set a password or enrollment key, and you can also, amongst other options, set a limit on the number of learners who can join the course. Let's enable self enrollment and follow student Barbara as she accesses the course. She sees the enroll button, but first she has to enter the enrollment key. She does this and now can enroll into the course.